Hey everyone, welcome back to another watching. Today I'm gonna do a box opening of some vintage watches I actually bought. Um, and to be honest, I don't remember what they are. I could have gone back and looked. Um, I think I got a pretty good deal. I got three watches for a hundred dollars. One I believe was a four, from the 40s, one was from the 60s, the other one I don't remember. So we'll do a box opening, take a quick look at them, and then I'll end up doing some follow-up videos on them after I do a little research, just because it'll be cool to check them out and see what I got. Now, a lot of the vintage watches I've noticed run really, really small, so it'll be interesting to see the sizes Seems like a lot of vintage are more, you know, in the 33 to 35 millimeter range. Um, so we'll take a look. The box, this box looks a little smushed, so I hope everything actually made it here okay. Oops. Yeah, the box looks a little rough. I have bought a vintage watch from this, this person before. He's in one of the watch, watch groups I belong to. And I've gotten something pretty cool from him in the past. So, which is another one I need to just make a video of so you guys can check it out. Because it is a 1955 watch. Um, it definitely runs smaller than what I normally would wear. But it's pretty cool to see it. Well, it's, at least seems like everything was packed fairly decent here. Let's see if I how if I can get into this with out super unraveling everything here. Lots of tape used, lots of tape used. Man, I want to cut into it and cut something. So let's see if I can make a few cuts where no watches are. There we go. Proton, so it's gold case, leather strap, stainless back, shock resistant. Now, I believe this was a manual wind. Yeah, I started to wind it and it started moving. So I'll find out a little bit more about that. Lots of weather on it. When I talk about the size on vintage, look at it size-wise next to my my Loom Tech. Definite different in si difference in size between vintage and current. So let's let's dig a little deeper here. See what else we got. Oop, one popped out. Wow! Look at the age on the dial and the hands. Waterproof. Octo watch reserved Swiss. I think that one's actually a manual wind automatic too. This one might be the one from the 40s, just looking at the looking at the dial. There again, look at the look at the size difference between what they used to wear compared to now. I like the dial on that one though, really cool. And then we've got a Timex shock resistance. US time. So I'll have to do some research because I think the Timex, when they have US time on them, uh, will help identify the actual date. Pretty cool looking dial on that one as well. It's a little bit bigger, maybe about the same size as a Croton. So I think this one was the 40s, this one was the 60s. This one, not sure. I might end up changing out some of the bands. I don't know, I don't like the gold on this one with that. So might do some playing around with that, but I'll do some research on them and uh, do some follow-up videos. What do you guys think? I got all three for a hundred bucks for some unique vintage pieces i think they're pretty cool as always guys thanks for watching if you like what you see please like and subscribe stay tuned for more watches